Hey folks, welcome to another DIY video here at the Weekend Angler. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is putting together a uh, homemade crappie brush pile. And we're going to be constructing that out of a 5 gallon bucket, some PVC sprinkler tubing, and some concrete. It's going to be really easy. We'll get that put together and we're going to get that dropped in a buddy of mine's pond because he's needing a little bit more cover in it. So guys, stick around. I'll show you how to put one of these together. Folks, before we get started here, let me go over the materials we're going to be using in today's project. You're going to need a five gallon plastic bucket with lid. You're going to need a roll of half inch PVC sprinkler tubing. And you're going to need a bag of quick creep. And that's it. Now as far as tools, that's easy also. You're going to need a drill with a 5 8 inch drill bit. You're going to need something to stir the concrete up with. You're going to be able to pour the concrete into your bucket, add your water. You're just going to need to get that mixed up. Uh, that's all it's going to take. So let me get uh, everything together here. We'll get started and uh, we'll show you how to, how to do this. Guys, there's no real pattern to uh, how you want to do your holes. That's going to be completely up to you. Uh, try to keep everything up, maybe about from the halfway point of the bucket up, because your bottom part's going to be filled with concrete. But uh, really all you're going to have to do is take, drill your hole, go around somewhere on the other side, drill you one, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more holes through this thing and this part will be done. All right, folks, now that you've got a five gallon bucket that looks like it's been peppered with buckshot, it's time to go ahead and start cutting pieces off of your roll of PVC sprinkler tubing. Uh, you can use whatever you want to cut that. I'm gonna be using some of these uh, PVC cutters that I've had put away for a while now that seems to cut stuff better than just about anything. We get the roll undone. And we're just going to reach in. This cutter just kind of ratchets. Do that. We'll shove that tubing through there. And out one of the other holes. Guys, all you need to do now is take and cut your random length sections of your sprinkler tubing. And you're going to shove that down into one hole and pick one on the other side of the bucket to run it out of. some of these off. Alright, our little uh, thing is starting to take shape here. We'll use some of these scrap pieces that I've cut off. I'm just going to kind of feed them in where I can. Now that we've got that part done, the next part's going to be get your lid closed. Get your lid, you're just going to put you a few. We'll put those in there. We'll cut you a few more sections of the PVC. Just kind of get them spaced in vertically. Now don't worry about getting these perfect right now because you're still going to have to pull this. You're still going to have to pull this lid off when you go to put the concrete in.
One last one there. Alright. Here are just about 10 minutes. We've made us a uh, artificial tree. So now all we have to do is open up and uh, we're going to pour a little bit of concrete in there. Now, guys, I've got a second bucket and uh, I bought a pretty good sized bag of concrete. So I've actually got a few projects I might have to use that concrete in. So we'll put this away and we'll get another bucket set up the same way and a couple other things. And once I get everything ready, I'll get the concrete poured, but I'll show you how I do that. Uh, folks, well, I ended up running out of time yesterday uh, between all the projects I had going on. But uh, I've got everything ready, uh, ready to pour some concrete today. And so what I've got, I've got be a 60 pound bag of quick crete, just your plain old uh, 60 pound bag of concrete you pick up at any hardware store. Got me another empty bucket here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, pour this bucket about a third of the way full, maybe between a third and a half. Get that mixed up, I'm gonna dump it in each one of these uh, fish tractor buckets. So I'll go ahead and get that concrete mixed up and uh, we'll get started here. We'll get these poured and uh, these projects will be done. All right, you can see we got uh, a little bit of concrete in there. Now the good thing is, is the other project I was doing, I was uh, building a couple of anchors. <coughs> now these will get filled with, uh, these will get filled with concrete also. Put those together. I saw those on uh, Chris Flores' channel, Muddy River uh, Catfishing, and uh, building a couple of those anchors for less than about 10 or 15 bucks a piece. So, we got the hose, we get this concrete mixed up, we get to get it dumped in the first bucket here. There's our first one. We'll get our top part of our fish attractor put on here. We'll get our lid put on. I'm just going to work these top parts here. I know they're down in the concrete. Well, folks, that's all there is to that project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the concrete put in the second one here and get my other fish attractor put together, but uh, I'm gonna give that at least 24 hours for that concrete to set up, and then I'm gonna put that back and uh, probably actually let it sit for about a week or two before I put it in the water and uh, give that concrete some time to cure. But all in all, as you saw, that's a very simple project. Get you some uh, PVC sprinkler tubing, a five gallon bucket, a little bit of time and some concrete, and you can make a pretty decent fish attractor. So guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're on a mobile device, hit the little bell located on the lower right-hand side. That'll let you know when I put up a new video or go live. And uh, we'll get these things finished and uh, start letting those sit up. So we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching The Weekend Angler.